Okay guys, welcome to my kitchen. I've been asked to do this many times before, but just didn't want to, it's a lot of work. Anyway, I've been asked to teach people how to glue proteins together. This works with any protein, as long as you follow a few basic um, techniques. Um, two chicken breasts, um, I like the dry brine mine. This one's gonna be an Italian dish, so I'm choosing bruschetta. And what I do is I just do a light sprinkle of the bruschetta on the breast, not very heavy. And then I'm gonna start the meat gluing process. It requires plastic wrap. This plastic wrap is 18 inches across and it's vital to tying the roulade, gluing it together properly. First thing I do is I do a light sprinkling on the plastic wrap about the area where you're going to place the chicken breast. I'm placing the smooth side down first. Then I'm taking more of the meat glue and I'm gonna to try to get it into every nook and cranny. If you don't, it's not gonna glue. This, by the way, is uh, Activa RM. I think it works the best with um, gluing proteins. And it's also the easiest to work with. Anyway, take the other chicken breasts lay down like this. If you notice, thin side, big side, thin side, big side. Do the same thing. Put some of the uh, Activa on. Again, getting into every nook and cranny. On the sides, just everywhere. Now I'm gonna place it on top. Thick side to thin side, thin side to thick side. Apply more meat glue on top. Again, getting it into every little spot. Otherwise, it will not glue. You notice the residual here. That'll be folded over and attached to the meat. When you get it done, you'll never see it. And there'll be no taste. Anyway, fold over your plastic wrap and start rolling. While you're rolling, you want to create a lot of tension on the plastic wrap and the chicken. This has gotta be tight. All the protein have to stick together or at least make contact so the glue can work. I'll probably do 10, 12 evolutions until I'm happy. And then when I'm satisfied, I'll do a couple more Take my trusty knife and cut. Next part's very important. You're gonna take your chicken breast and you're gonna roll in opposite direction, holding each corner. And as you do this, it'll get thicker and it'll become denser. Next part is very, very vital. You gotta tie off each end. Butcher twine doubled up, each side. Tied very well. Go through once and twice. And then, <sighs> yep, that's me grinding. Feel like I'm at the gym a little bit. Get my workout in, see how this came undone? You gotta make sure that's really tied up. Helps if you have two people or a pair of pliers, but there's another method I use to ensure that it becomes very, very dense. Now, tie. The other method I use to ensure that it works very well, I take the long strand first, I take it and I start turning it like this. It's like, have you ever done it with a salami before? I've done salamis like this too. And what you're doing is you're, you're going below each strand and you're creating 
what is a very, very tight plastic wrap, very, very dense. Take the other string and you tie them like that. And you go on the other side and you tie them again. I'm not done yet. Other side has to be done. I'll take the longer of the two threads there and I'll tie. Squeeze, and squeezing, and squeezing, and squeezing. Yeah, I know. I've got six more of these to do. So I'm just showing you one because it is a lot of work. And you could do this with any season you want. I've done Asian, I've done Mediterranean, I've done Greek specifically, I've done Indian spices, I've done curry. This one's gonna be Italian. Anyway, I'm just a stickler for it to become, see how it bounces? That baby's tight. I'm a stickler for doing it. <sighs> Perfect. I'm gonna tie this in a couple more times. Now, I can't see what the camera's seeing, so hopefully I'm getting everything in the camera so you can see it. I think my head hit the camera a few times. So, anyway, take a sharp pair of scissors, cut off the excess string and plastic wrap, and be extra sharp in my scissors too, holy crap. There we go. And we're done. It should be extremely tight and bounce. Anyway, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions, uh, shoot me an email. Hey guys, welcome back to Kosher Dosher. Well, this is the final product. It's all sealed. It's been uh, processed via sous vide at 152 degrees for three hours. It's been sitting in my refrigerator for about a week because I wasn't ready to use it. But I'm going to show you what the end result is. First thing you do, take off the bag. Is that thing pretty or what? Okay, now I'm just going to take off the plastic wrap and cut it into medallions.